watching Jack Drones. Hi, Jack Rogers. Welcome back. We've got another um, Phantom 3 repair to do on the bench. This is a um, P3 standard and uh, it's coming to me. Um, I think it's had a bit of a waterlog situation. Um, so, on the, on the physical sort of checks we do on when we do repairs, I, I physically check everything to make sure there's no sort of like broken shell. All, all the shells pulled a little part. There's only the little lugs underneath there and these just like pushing back in to place they can easily be lifted and pushed back in by hand anyway. Um, apart from that the shell looks like intact, the, the legs looked intact, they look like they're cracked or broken in any shape or form. And I think what it, what's happened is it sort of flipped over and one of the arms has been caught in water. Ow. Now back to that and let me see what's going on the screen just to make sure there's no sort of other errors we're not we're not seeing. So Quick connection. Default passwords normally is, these are one two three four one two three four. Um, so make a quick connection to it. Pick the phantom up. Yeah, password here. So it's one two three four one two three four. Join. Yeah, we're on. Okay, connect. So now connect with the DJI Go app. Remember guys, DJI has been updated now, so it covers all the new uh, updates, which now includes the Osmo Mobile. And I should have the Osmo Mobile coming in very soon to do a review with, so we can actually get that, have a look what's going on. So underneath here, it's got safe to fly, um, five satellites it's picked up, so yeah, it's good to go. So we're now bringing in the sticks. There you go, so it's up so if I can show you on the camera it's hard to it's hard to show you because that's how I move it it's gonna spin up so these three here are spinning fine this one's spinning very very slow you can actually see on the camera so you can see on there they're all spinning too much but as you see on this one it, it's not spinning around as fast as these ones are and as I'm tilting it these motors spin up but this one's staying at the exact same speed so there's definitely an issue here and I've got a feeling it might be ESC on it so let's turn it off right so we've got here the top's off now so um, we're going to swap that motor over this motor So and then we're going to sort of test out so we need to desolder um, the three, ca three cables here so yellow, red, and black, and same this side here. Swap the motors over, resold them back onto the board, and then power up and test it. I've noticed these screws here. There's, there's four screws hold the board in on a like a sort of a frame, like a plastic frame behind it. They've actually snapped off. It's all loose. So that needs replacing as well. So we've already got um, one part definitely to buy. Um, the shell is, still, is intact and it's in good condition. So we can we can keep we can reuse this um, no problems at all. So there's no there's no point buying a shell. Um, so the only thing I'm a bit worried about is because this board, as you can see in here, I'll get you um, close up here. As you see with this board here, um, they're the ESC chips that generate power um, going to the motors and actually get part of the motherboard as you can see. So you can't buy that separately. So that would have to be this whole board to replace. And everything on this board comes as you see it. That's a flight controller unit. Uh, and as you can see, this is a lot different to the uh, Phantom 3 Pro and Advance. Um, so we, we, we need to uh, literally replace this board if it's the actual ESC. So I'm hoping it's just the motor that, that's the problem. Because then that's easily replaceable. It's about £14. Pounds, probably, probably, probably about three or four pounds for the little plastic bit underneath to replace as well. Um, and then that's it, it should be back up and running then. Right, so I swapped the motors around, so I'm just going to put the cables and get them soldered in place. So we got red there, yellow, and.
been done. Let me turn that off. It's going to be too hot. Um, scratch your head a little bit. Right, so that's motors all put on and soldered in all the right way around to make sure they are. Red, yellow, black, black, red, yellow. Sorted. So that's it. So we now can um, put the GPS on. Around. Let's cover it over. Control run. And iPad. Wish me good luck. <laughs> Oh, I'm just making a connection now so we can have a, have a look. Strong interference detected, yeah, that's fine. Five GPS signals, looks good. Now's the test to see if this works. Take off. Yep. As you can see, those three motors are working. That was the original motor that was over here, which is now there. And that motor that was on there is now here. And it's doing the exact same thing. It's literally not spinning correctly. And if you can look on the video. Um, get it closer. You can see this one in here, literally how, how it's spinning. But it should be spinning. Should be spinning like this. If you can see that on the video. So, let's turn it off a sec. So this one is basically telling me it's um, definitely an ESC issue on the board. So, so anyway, I'll keep updates on all these anyway through my Facebook. So what I'll do is all the updates I do on these videos, I'll probably put them on Facebook. So I'll do like a quick update rather than actually doing the YouTube. And I'll reference the video uh, title to the same title as this one. So you can just go on the Facebook, quick look up to see if I've done an update on this. And if I have, you can watch it. So yeah. So thanks again for guys subscribing and I hope it's been a bit more informative. Any questions you got, I'm gonna do a lot more videos on my build on my sort of repairs. Um so you get to learn more stuff as well. And if there's anything particularly you want to see, um just let me know and comment below again and uh, I'll try my best and uh, show you as well. And to this video I've actually got a Phantom 4 in for repair because you a lot of you guys are saying we want to see the inside of a Phantom 4, we want you to do a tear down, strip down. Well, actually I've got one that's broken so I'm going to have to strip it apart find what parts are needed and purchase them and it's going to be a repair so I'll be able to do a complete strip down tear down on that one and get you show what's inside a Phantom 4 close up on this channel so hit that subscribe button hit, it, hit thumbs up and see you soon Bye.